Is the Grain app for Moment a good color grading app for iOS? I don't know. You tell me. Yo, 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 it's Joe from Photos of Phones. Today I have a bunch of anamorphic footage that I've captured over the last few months on my external hard drive and I want to create a super cinematic reel just like this. Wait, future Joe, roll the reel that we made. Hey, don't tell me what to do, but here's the reel. And that all adds up to a great way to test the Grain Color Grading app, a video preset maker for making and editing video filters for Moment for your iPhone or iPad. First, I'll introduce both you and myself to the app because it's new, and then we'll create a look for my reel. Sounds like a real cool video idea, huh? Stay tuned until the end of the video though because I'm saving a few golden nuggets of information that took me a frustratingly long time to figure out. Oh, I'll also share the LUTs that I create so that you can download them and apply them to your footage. According to Moment's 17 minute long video about the Grain Color Grading app, this is a super powerful but relatively simple way to color grade. I do some very basic color grading to my videos on Final Cut Pro, so I am by no way a colorist. I literally just make my Pixel 4a with 5G footage look kinda like my iPhone 11 Pro footage. I have taken inspiration for what I'm going to create today from a few different places. Namely, the Quasman, Danny Schiffer, and Andy Toe. But just let it be known that I don't expect to do these dudes justice. With that being said, I'll stop blabbering and we'll hop into the app. In the free version of the app, you can edit things like temperature and tint, brightness, contrast, vibrance, saturation, highlights, shadows, you can use a couple of moments included effects, and you can make customizations to the overlays that, to be honest, don't do a whole lot. And you can import your own footage, though the app includes some of moments footage that you can color grade. Here's what comes free versus what you have to pay for. With the free version of the app, as I mentioned, you can make basic adjustments to things like brightness, saturation, shadows, and highlights, among other things. You have the ability to import your own clips, though it is worth noting that even before purchasing Grain Plus, I was able to upload clips over 30 seconds. The App Store page says that you're limited to like five second long clips. You also, as I mentioned, get access to a very limited number of effects. With Grain Plus, you get access to all of the effects that Moment offers. You also can import, export, and share your LUTs, and you can use their premium color tools, which includes more sliders, color curves, HSL color adjustments, and color wheels. Your options for paying for Grain Plus include a monthly subscription at $4.99, an annual subscription at $29.99, or a lifetime subscription at $69.99. That's all in US dollars. The app also includes effects like light leaks, grain, dust, prisms, chroma, VHS settings, and more. The free app offers a few different effects, whereas Grain Plus offers like 50. Are they all useful? No. Some of them are, um, not so great. The option to share your LUTs is cool and does work in the free version of the app. 
I'm going to put the app page from the iOS store on the screen now to show you what moments says the difference between the paid and free version of the app are. I'm not going to give you enough time to read all of it though because in my experience it's all a bunch of crap. I do think that Grain is worth $4.99 a month when compared to the free version of the app. I do not think that Grain Plus on an iPhone does a good job of doing everything that Moment says it does. I would rate the usability of the app without any sort of tutorial as a 3 out of 5 at best. Here are those tips that I mentioned that will make your experience on the Grain app a little bit better. I had high expectations for the app, and had I known this stuff going in, I may have been a little bit happier with how the app performed. Thing number one is that you cannot rotate the phone while using the app. It only works in the vertical aspect ratio, and that definitely sucks for the purposes of a reel about anamorphic lenses. I had to keep making the footage full screen, and then look at my work, and then even then, because it's anamorphic footage on a vertical aspect ratio, it's nearly impossible to see the minute changes that I was making. That's a big bummer. I also found it very difficult to understand the organization of my edits. If I were to apply some sort of effect to the footage to test what it looks like, how am I supposed to remember what it was that I added, and better yet, how do I delete it after I've made other adjustments? Well, it took me like 20 minutes to figure it out because the 17 minute long video that Moment posted about the app doesn't give you any sort of information on this topic. So, you're going to click into the effect that you think that you added. If it includes a little red box on the top, then you can double click on that, tap the X, and that should delete it. It may take you a couple times to get the X to pop up because it's a little finicky. I also found it fairly difficult to pause the clip. I don't know, maybe I'm dumb, but because I was color grading anamorphic footage, I kept making the clip full screen, pausing it on the optimal frame that I wanted to color grade from, and then going back to the partial screen to edit. The edits wouldn't show up until I restarted the clip, and that is a big bummer. But if you literally just tap the clip from the editing screen, then you can color grade right from there and see your work in real time, and it'll all pick back up when you restart the clip. In the same vein, and the last bit of helpful information that I have for you on the Grain color grading app is comparing the original clip to the color grade. It's pretty simple to do, but I only figured out how to do it by accident, so I figured it's definitely worth sharing. While the clip is playing, literally just hold your finger on the player, and then when you release it, it'll go back to the grade. That's all we got for you. If you feel like you got value from this video, go ahead and hit the like button. It really helps photos with friends out a lot because it forces YouTube to show our videos to other people. Because of the algorithm. Comment your thoughts, feelings, concerns, or questions about the Grain Color Grading app. Yuffie! You rat his name is Yuffie and he's a budget Roomba and he made me angry. Comment your thoughts, feelings, concerns, or questions about the Grain color grading app. I'd also be willing to compare with other iOS color grading apps depending on y'all's interest level. As always, subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell because we're coming out with twice weekly mobile photography and filmmaking, tips, tricks, hacks, reviews, and unboxings. Anything that you could want to know if you like taking photos and videos with your phone. Toodles. See you in the next one. Bye.